Tonight, an Arizona man wants answers from American Airlines, filing a lawsuit against the company after spending 17 days in jail for a crime he did not commit. The most horrible experience of my life. I just was trapped and I had no idea why I was there. Police arrested Michael Lowe at a July 4th celebration in 2021. At the time, he was vacationing in New Mexico. When local authorities there ran his license for an unrelated matter, Lowe was flagged for an outstanding burglary warrant. If I would have known that I had a warrant, I would have you know, pursued legal counsel and advice prior to just being snatched off the street. His lawyer calling it a, quote, wrongful accusation in a newly filed lawsuit this week, leading to, quote, incomprehensible trauma for Lowe. He was just every passenger on any flight um, that did nothing wrong. The origins of the arrest? In May of 2020, an entire year prior to Lowe's arrest, police at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport say they were looking for this man as part of an investigation into a break-in at one of the airport's duty-free stores. Surveillance camera footage followed this individual to the American Airlines flight that Lowe was also a passenger on. But according to the lawsuit, when police sought records from American Airlines on its passengers for the flight, the airline turned over information for just one person, Michael Lowe, leading police to put a warrant out for his arrest. How did this happen? Why did they feel so uh, certain and confident that he was their man and nobody else? The lawsuit states... For 17 days and nights, Mr. Lowe lived in a constant state of fear of confrontation or abuse. That was just a living nightmare. Um, the violent outbursts, the mental health issues, other medical issues um, that the inmates were facing that went ignored. American Airlines in a statement telling NBC News on Wednesday, as required by law, American cooperates with and responds to court orders for information related to possible criminal activity. And that's what we did in this instance when presented with a search warrant. The first day or two, I thought, OK, it's a mix up. They'll figure it out. Um, but then I sat in jail and sat in jail. All right, Vaughn Hillier joins us now. Vaughn, this is almost so ridiculous when you look at the surveillance footage and then you see this man that you interviewed here who spent so much time in jail. So what's the status of the charges and, and what kind of damages is he looking for? Right, the images from that surveillance footage, very different than the man that yeah. we just interviewed here today. The charges have all been dropped against Lowe here, which ultimately led him to file these charges. Now, we also reached out to airport police, who are actually the ones that put in that search warrant to American Airlines for the information on the passengers. Of course, uh, the only passengers that they supposedly gave info about was this particular individual. Now, in terms of damages, uh, we are talking about an individual who says he suffered not only mental anguish and emotional distress, but also the loss of income, not only in those weeks after his arrest, but also going forward here. Now, it's ultimately going to be up to a jury if, in fact, it goes before them to award those damages. All right, Fawn Hilliard, good work. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.